Hello there, this is Dixon from MadsWiz, where we teach mathematics and mathematical sciences. Welcome for this lesson. This is the third lesson in the series using mathematical tables. In this lesson, we're going to look at determining reciprocals of numbers using mathematical tables. The lesson will have four parts. The first part, we're going to look at the introduction to reciprocal tables. And before we do that, it is important to note that, that reciprocal tables are used to determine the value of 1 over n, where n is any number, whether decimal or whole number. Number two, to evaluate the reciprocal of n, we're going to look at four categories. Category number one is the numbers that are between 1 to 9.999. Category number two is the numbers that are greater than 9.999. And category number three, it is the numbers that are less than 1. To introduce ourselves now to the table of reciprocals, we're going to have the following. In determining the value of 1 over n, we are going to have the table looking as follows. At far extreme left, you have the value to be determined. We are going to symbolize it with an x. And the values of, of x can have 3 or 4 digits. To determine the value of x, we are going to have the following. Under the value x, we are going to have it ranging between 1 to 9. That is the first and second digits. The third digit can either be a 0 or the 29. And between 0 and 9, this is where we have the body of our table. Then the fourth digit can either be a 1, 2, 3, or the way to 9. And this is what we are going to refer to as our difference, just like we have done to the other tables. The second part of the lesson, we are going to look at numbers between 1 and 9.999. And in this case, we are going to have a couple of examples. Our first example is reciprocal of 1.1. We have given a condition for us to use reciprocal tables. We must have three or four digits. Now that we do not have a third digit, we are going to add a zero. Hence, our value will become the reciprocal of 1.10. We're going to move to x. Under x, we go up to where we have 1.1. Then inside the body, for the di that digit, it is a 0. From, from 0, we go down. And then from 1.1, we go across where the two numbers meet. That is the reciprocal of our number, and that is 0 0.9091. Second example, we have the reciprocal of 5.18. We are going to move to x. Under x, we go down until we have 5.1. Then inside the table, we move across, locate the value digit. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And at 8, we drop down until where the two numbers meet, and they meet at 0 0.1931. And that is the answer to our question. Our third example, we have the reciprocal of 7.43. Under x, we locate 7.4. Then inside the table, we want a 3, so we have 0, 1, Two and three, and where the two of them meet, they meet at 0 0.1346, which is the reciprocal of our value. In the fourth example, we are going to look at numbers with four digits. Under this, we have the reciprocal of 9.769. We first four go to x, and in x, we locate the first two digits that, that is 9 and 7. Inside the table, we locate a 6, and at the 6, we have this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. At 6, we have the value 0 0.1025. We note it down. Then, the fourth digit, we have a 9, and a 9, we have 1. In the difference, we had been advised to subtract. So what we are going to do is the one that we are going we have got 
we're going to subtract now to the value corresponding now to the first three digits. How do we subtract this? We are going to let the last two digits correspond. That is a five therefore corresponds with the one and we subtract the two with where we get 0 0.1024 and that is the reciprocal of our value. Example number five also with three, uh, four digits we have reciprocal of 8.799 so we first of all locate our x under x we have 8.7 and 8.7 is there and then we have 9 inside the table at 9 and our value corresponds to 0 0.1138 well layers the fourth digit is also a 9 and that corresponds to a 1 we subtract the 2 to get the value that is 0 0.137 in the next category of numbers, we're going to look at numbers that are greater than 9.999. And to start with, we're going to have a reciprocal of 10.2. Under this one, what we're going to do is the first thing we are going to write our denominator in the standard form. And to write numbers in standard form, remember it is writing the number in the form of a multiplied by 10 to power n, where we had given where the, the, the value of a will take numbers between 1.000 and 9.999. And if you are keen enough, you realize that these are numbers that we have considered in the other category. Whereas the n, these are the number of steps moved by the decimal point. So if we consider our number 10.2, our decimal point for, will move towards the left hand side one step and our number become 1.02 times 10 to power 1. Notice that the value of 1 over a multiplied by b is equal to 1 over a multiplied by 1 over b. Hence, when we have 1 over 1.02 multiplied by 10 to power 1 it can be written as 1 over 1.02 multiplied by 1 over 10 for the value of the first number we are going to read it reciprocal from the table so at x we read 1.0 and inside the table we read the 2 and the two of them corresponds at nine zero point nine eight zero four. And if we multiply that value with the reciprocal of ten, we get our value answer as zero point zero nine eight zero four. Our second example under this category, it is the reciprocal of nine. 128.3. So the first thing is we write in standard form, and I can see that 928.3. Our decimal point will move three steps, two steps lower. Hence, our number become 9.283 times 10 to power 2, which, if split it, can be further be written as reciprocal of 9.283 multiplied by reciprocal of 100. For 9.283, we read that value from the table, and again, we're going to subdivide this number into two parts. One, we read the first three digits. The first three digits, we have 9.2. Then, we have 0.8, and 8 is here, and that corresponds to 0 0.1078. Then our fourth digit is a 3, and at a 3 we have a 0, and we are supposed to subtract. So if we subtract a 0 from our values, it still remains. The answer we have got as a reciprocal of 9.283, we multiply it by reciprocal of 100, and we are going to get our solution as 0.001078. So I've had the example that this category is 7,739. The first thing is we're going to do, we are going to uh, write our number in standard form. And writing in standard form, we're going to get 7.739 times 10 to power 3. And then after that, 
we are going to split now the two values and once we split the two values we get 1 over 7.739 multiplied by 1 over 1000. For 7.739 we are going to read its reciprocal from the table. Inside the table we, 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 we go to x and below x we locate 7.7 .7, the first two digits. That digit is a 3 so we locate a 3 and we are going to get the value corresponds to 0 0.1294. Then the fourth digit is a 9 and a 9 corresponds to a 2 and this 2 we subtract it now from the original value for three digits and we get 0 0.1192 yeah next we look at numbers that are less than one first example is 0 0.0012 we write this number in standard form and the decimal point is going to move one two three three steps so our number become 1.12 times 10 to power minus 3 we're going to split now the two numbers once we split the two numbers we get the first number is reciprocal of 1.12 and the reciprocal of 1 over 10 cubed notice the following that 1 over 10 to power minus n this one is therefore the same as 10 to n divided by 1. Hence, reciprocal of 10 raised to power minus 3 becomes 10 to power 3. For the first number, we read it from the table. At x, we have 1.1. .1. Then we locate 2 and our number becomes 0 0.8929. And the value we have got, we multiply by reciprocal of is 10 to power minus 3 and we get our answer as 892.9 example number 2 we have reciprocal of 7 0 0.7628 under this we write in standard form and we get 7.628 times 10 to power minus 1. At the x we locate 7.6. Inside the table we locate 2 and the 2 corresponds at 0 0.1312. Then the mid difference column we have an 8 and 8 corresponds to 1 and we are supposed to subtract and once we subtract we get 0 0.1311. Now to get the reciprocal of 0 0.7628 we multiply the reciprocal of 7.628 by the reciprocal of 10 to power minus 1 and we are going to get 0 0.3 we get 0 0.1311 multiplied by 10 and this one will give us 1.311 this is Dixon again from MadWiz we hope you have enjoyed our today's lesson remember to subscribe to our channel and also give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for your watch.